It's YouTube Wednesday! So, um, let's see, last weekend, weekend before last, was the Trans World Halloween show. Um, walking the show floor, several things I saw uh, were awesome, lots of neat stuff. But I saw something that pissed me off, and this video is a direct reaction to that. Um, apparently, you can't buy fake corn stalks for less than about 50 bucks a piece. A fake corn stalk, 50 bucks. To me, that is ridiculous. One company had a deal where if you got six of them, they were 40 bucks each. Bargain. So, I've been planning to do a corn one anyway because i got to make a lot of fake corn coming up. So, here we go. I have a three inch piece of PVC pipe. Um, doesn't matter what kind, I'm using this as a form. I have some Johnson's Paste Wax. I am going to use the Johnson's Paste Wax to grease up my PVC pipe. Because I want, I'm going to mold some plastic over this and I want it to release. I want it to come off. I don't want it to become part of it. Alright, believe it or not, that's all I needed gloves for. Garbage bags. Uh, these happen to be contractor's bags. I like contractor's bag because they're thicker plastic. Uh, I think thicker plastic is better in this instance, so I would not go with thinner, cheaper garbage bags. You can, however, use a heavier, like 7 mil, uh, 0.7 mil plastic. That would be just fine. I'm going to unfold this just halfway. There's still one more bit that I could unfold it, but I'm going to unfold it halfway and leave it because I like that size. I'm also going to cut off the flappy, handily, tie bit so it's square. Then I'm going to roll it around my pipe. Try and keep it right on top of each other, you know. Uh, I want this to be one piece. I'm right, put my fold down so it'll stay. I am picking up my heat gun. Yes, it's from Harbor Freight. So that place is cheap. Yeah, it's good and hot now. I'm using the heat gun to kind of shrink up and form these leaves. Uh, these are going to be the leaves, by the way. Uh, it'll also impart a bit of organic texture on this with all the wrinkles. kind of heat shrink onto almost my uh, my piece of pipe here. Use a razor knife and I'm just going to cut this off. All right, one straight cut down is the hope and the plan. I don't dare to dream that all of this got heat shrunk and it's all perfect. I don't think that's going to happen, but I know that this front piece did, so I'll just pull it free, okay, because that is exactly what I want. Right there is exactly what I want. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, and it's several layers thick, and it's rigid. All right, so the rest of this, I cut that one off. I'm going to roll it back over. I'm going to hit this guy. I think that knocked out a lot more of it. 
plastic is all warm, I don't want it to curl up too much on me because I want to get leaves out of that. All right, that piece looks good. See, because I use this width, this is the length of my corn leaf. And I'm just going to cut a long leaf shape out of this. Um, when I cleaned up a little bit, I moved all my little clippings off to the side. I haven't thrown them away because I'm going to use these later. But I'll need them right now. They're taking up space. So I have a hot glue gun ready to go, already warm. I'm going to put it on low. I don't need it on high. I have uh, floral wire. Uh, I went to Hobby Lobby, but craft stores have it, uh, floral supply stores have it. I don't want thin floral wire. I want it to be pretty thick. I want it to be strong. I definitely need it to hold its own weight up if you hold it at the end. I don't know if you can see the ends of my shirt or not. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this floral wire down the length of the leaf and I'm going to hot glue it on. That's all I'm doing. I now have eight leaves all the way done. Um, I want to go ahead and attach them to the corn stalk. For the corn stalk, I have two options. Um, the two options I have are, let me open one of these up. These are five foot bamboo garden stakes. All right, they're five foot tall, so they're Oh, well, they're six foot tall. Six foot bamboo garden stakes. So they're uh, just even with my top of my head or over by an inch. Um, they're six foot, exactly. Um, they're a little bit on the skinny side. Now some are thicker, but they're, they are thinner than a corn plant of the same height. A package of five of those is $2.97. Or you can use this metal garden stake. Um, it's the same kind I use in my LED lighting tutorial. Um, it, is, it is also six foot tall, but one of these is $3.97. So one corn stalk will cost you more than five corn stalks if you do it the other way. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat a bit. I'm going to pull the thinnest two out of the bag and I'm gonna use two of these guys okay that way I get a little bit more thickness now granted I lose a it turns a little flatter it doesn't be as cylindrical but that's okay to me it's not a big deal um, the important thing what makes this look like corn stalks is context context is the tough part um, you can't make one fake corn stalk this way and have it look immaculate you need to make 20 if you make 20 and people look at them and they know they're corn stalks. So let's get to making it. I'm just going to tape this to get these two together so that they stay together. I have my two skinny pieces up top, up there, and I have my, my fatter pieces of bamboo down here. I want to measure two foot up from the bottom, which is 24 inches it turns out. I'm not going to put anything down here uh, below two foot. I just don't need to. Um, there might be one leaf segment down there, but that doesn't really help. If you're doing 50 of these, maybe your first row, put one down here. But most of the time, you will not need to. So right here at this bamboo knuckle is my two foot mark. We'll take a little bit of tape. I'm going to leave the wire pretty straight and I'm going to tape this on to the bamboo. 
directly on the opposite side of it. Wire um, up, by the way, is how I'm doing mine. Directly on the other side of it. Not at a 90 degree, but directly on the other side of it. 180 degrees around the corn stalk. I'm going to put up another leaf. All right? Because they grow in pairs up the corn stalk. All right? And I'm going to just gonna bend this guy so it fits in here for you. Like that. And like that. So you can see, I kind of got a corn thing going on. I have purchased here a little bit of raffia. I'm going to open my raffia. Raffia was $1.99. That little package of raffia will do a lot of corn stalks. I'm taking about that much. Corn has a distinctive tassel on top. And I'm going to just tape some raffia on up here to be that tassel. It is very distinctive. This is one of the make or break elements of your corn stalk. All right, if you don't have that tassel on top, it's not corn. Um, also, the top of it isn't terribly even and it looks like there's some leaves that didn't make it or something uh, that are kind of rolled up. And I'm using those little cutoff pieces from when we did the leaves to put just a couple of those on. And once again, I will tape them on. And once again, you should have a buddy to help you tape stuff. Have friends. I have no friends. I work too much. That's a lot. I got some really awesome friends. Okay, I now have a tassel. That's my basic corn stalk, but I gotta make some corn. So I have a water bottle here, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be one of my corn cobs hidden inside of my, uh, of its little husky thing that it's in, whatever they call those. I'm putting two wires on it because this might be a little bit heavier. I'm using the bodily end out. This will be the end that sticks out. This side will be against the tree, the bottom of it. I'm going to tape that on first. Tape these wires on. Uh, there's a lot of different sizes of plastic bottles. Um, find the one that you think is the best size for corn. Didn't think you'd ever hear that, did you? You just did. Alright, so I just gave it a little bit of a twist so I have a bit of a lead right there um, before these split. And that way I can tape this to the tree, one wire up, one wire down, and that will really help it stay firm. Now I'm going to wrap it in plastic. Okay. Heat go just a little bit. Don't pop your bottle. Okay. It's nice and tight now. And a little warm. Yellow spray paint. Get the kind that sticks to plastic. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Right there. So I have corn that is relatively dry. So now that my corn is dry, um, I want to just put some quick corn kernels on it. Um, a brown Sharpie would be better. This could be kind of drastic because uh, it's a black Sharpie. But hey, it's for a haunt. So really, I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be in the dark. And not all this is going to show.
That's corny enough for me. That's all I need. My hot glue gun. I'm going to lay down a bead of hot glue. My ear of corn, it's gonna go on my corn stalk. I'm gonna let it dry first because it's already painted. Now back to my corn stalk corn stalk. I'm gonna wrap all of it in this plastic wrap. Uh, you can just use saran wrap, just as easy. But I want it to be crumply and stuff, and basically I'm unifying the two stakes that I used. have all this on, I'm going to heat shrink it onto the, those big bamboo skewers. Now I have these great wires that I can wrap around the corn stalk in order to hold the corn on. I'm just twining that around one one way and then I'll do one the other way. Cover those up with tape. That is with just spray paint. So I have a very light green, much lighter than this, that I'm going to accent it with. I just have a little piece of cardboard here as my palette. And a very simple one inch chip brush. Um, I'm not going to do a ton of details on these because I'm not ever going to make one corn stalk. I'm going to make 300 corn stalks. But however many you want to make and however much detail you want to do is how much you can put on. 
I'm obviously uh, working on this while it's still wet, but I do want to hit that center of that leaf on all of them and just some of the edges. I think it'd be lighter up here toward the top where it's more springy. This is corn. Um, you know, it's got the tassel top. You can see the detail on it. Obviously, this is still a little bit wet, but uh, I want to get it done and shows you. Here's, uh, you know, what the leaves look like, and here's a good close-up of the organic-y texture that you get on that plastic. That's part of my corn pot. Now, see how unimportant it is in there. What sells this as corn isn't the paint job, it isn't how it's constructed, it's the context. It's context. If Basically, if you tell people it's corn, they will completely thoroughly believe that it's corn. Um, if you have ten of these standing there, you know, that's a, that's a start to a cornfield. I wouldn't plan on making less than twenty though, because they need, but you need numbers for corn any crop really so plan on having a party getting people together and making some corn okay I made corn corn